Dallas Cowboys Football Club vs. Harris is the story of a contractual dispute set in the early days of pro football, back when Dallas was home to two rival teams. In June of 1958, James Harris signed a contract to play football for the Los Angeles Rams, a member of the National Football League, or NFL. The contract described Harris as a player with unique knowledge and skill, and stated that the loss of this ability couldn't be fairly compensated by damages. The Rams accordingly had the right to prevent him from playing football for any other team. They also had the right to assign the contract to another team. The contract ended on May 1, 1959, but gave the Rams an option to renew it for an additional year. If Harris retired before the contract expired and then later returned to pro football, the terms of his contract would be suspended during retirement and resume when he went back to playing, so that the Rams got the benefit of the full contracted period out of him. When May 1st arrived, Harris and the Rams got into a dispute about the exercise of the renewal option. As a result, Harris didn't play football that season. Instead, he enrolled at the University of Oklahoma to finish his degree and work as assistant football coach. In April of 1960, Harris signed a contract to play football with the Dallas Texans Football Club, a member of the newly formed American Football League. The Rams had other ideas. Exercising their option to renew the contract for another year, they assigned Harris's contract to the Dallas Cowboys, an NFL member. The Cowboys sued Harris for breaching his contract with the Rams. They argued that because Harris was an employee of exceptional skill, the court should grant an injunction preventing him from playing for the Texans. The court granted a temporary injunction. At trial, Harris argued that to be unique under the contract, he would have to be the sole or only player of his type and his abilities would have to be without parallel. He lamented that, much as he might wish to be a player of unique ability, he didn't think he was. Nor was he the only defensive halfback in the profession. The jury found no evidence supporting the contention that Harris had unique skill and ability. The court held that the negative covenant in the contract was unenforceable and reversed the injunction. The Cowboys appealed to the Texas Court of Civil Appeals.